Master of Muppets has asked, they used to have the match here on YouTube where Ernest Millett called out Scott Norton. Funniest match oh, I ever saw. Norton oh, came in and destroyed him, and Ernest got no yeah. offence in whatsoever. I don't know where it went or why it was pulled down, but if anyone can have that video, please upload it. But working to Scott Norton. Now, now I'm going to tell you about that. That was a rib. <laughs> and and the, it, for real, for real, they said, go out to the ring and call out the fans like you always do. So I did that. So I knew that part. But what had happened, the guys, NWO, the guys behind my back, had told Scott to destroy me, not to give him anything without telling me that. So <clears throat> he came out to the ring, and I kicked and I kicked him. He didn't sell. I hit, I hit him again with a hand. He didn't say. He just slapped my hand down and chopped me. Bang. Just chopped me. Boom. I mean, it was hard chop. And then I... Dropped down to my knee and I did a groin shot. He didn't say all that either. So in my head, I started saying, something's wrong here. But by that time, he picked me up and boom, suplexed me one, two, three, and out. So now, listen, I was, I'm new to the business. So after every match, I will call one of my friends, Bobby Hard, Hard Work Walker. He was a wrestler before me. He's a good friend. And, uh, and train, ice train. So I call Ice Train and I said, Train, did you see that match, lad? Because I, I just lost. I said, did you see that match? He said, yeah, man. He just said, well, dirty. I said, what? He said, you look like a, just a piece of meat. That's all he was doing. Then I was like, oh, yeah. So I said, I'll call you later. So as soon as I got out the ring, I went by two guys that really liked me. Scott Hall was one of them. And Scott Hall said, hey, Cat. You really, really know that stuff, right? I said, yeah. He said, listen here. When people not working with you in the ring, do it for real. I said, what are you talking about? He just said, if somebody is not working with you in the ring, make them work with you. So I was like, okay, I still didn't get it. I'm still kind of new to the business, you know? So I walk out and R. Anderson was mad. R. Anderson walked up to me. He said, man, see, that's what's wrong with the business. I said, what? He said, that was wrong with the business. He said, I, I'm going to take my hat off to you. You stay professional because I know you could have took him apart if you wanted to. I still didn't get it, but it started to come to me that they told him to go out. Could have been Nash, who always liked to play games. They told him not to sell anything, just smash him. Now, when I walked out, do that. I was feeling some kind of way because it was now coming to me what was what had happened. And now let me tell you the rest of it. Hmm. The person who was in control was Eric Bischoff. When Eric signed my contract, I never asked Eric to do anything else for me. I never asked him to let me win a belt. I never asked him to put me over. I never bothered Eric anymore because I thought like he did enough just to get me in the business. But this one time, I had to go to the top. And when Eric, I saw Eric walking down the hall, Eric said, you all right? I said, yeah. And I said, uh, Sonny Elno even said, yeah, he all right. And I said, bro, I went 15 rounds in a kickboxing match where guys were trying to knock my head off. Somebody slapping my chest. I, it didn't register with me in the ring because there was no pain, you know? But he said, so... You all right? I said, yeah. And I said, can you do me a favor, Eric? He said, yeah, what? I said, can you give me one more match with Scott Norton? He said, when? I said, next Monday. He said, you sure? I said, yeah. Uh, Scott in the back was known to be a big, tough guy. You know that, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Scott, well, arm, Scott Norton arm, was known. Arm to wrestling be, champion and everything, yeah. Yeah. It, nobody messed with Scott Norton. So I asked Eric to give me a match. He said, okay, I'll do it. So the match was announced on Monday. The cat called out. I get there that next Monday. I get there and one of the first matches. The cat calls out Scott Norton again. So like every day, every match we have, you go in. And I told the same thing I did with him. I said, Scott, I want to do this, this, and that. You can do whatever you want to do. And he never, and he didn't sell it. 
This time I went over the same way. I said, you can do whatever you want to do to me, Scott. I just want three kicks. Three kicks. And he said, okay, okay, like he did before. He said, okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. So I said, he said, hey, I'm going to chop you. Then I'm going to chop you again. I'm going to slam hammer you. I will do it now. I said, okay, okay. Then I said, okay, now it's my time to come back a little bit. He said, yeah. So he said, what are you going to do? I said, okay, I'm going to kick you one time. I'm going to kick one time. I want you to slap it away. Don't sell it like he was doing before. Don't sell it. Then I said, the second kick, I'm going to step back a little further. I'm going to kick you in the chest again. And you just kind of rock back a little bit like that was a little stronger. Then I said, now the third kick, I wanted to hit you. I want you to go flat to your back. Something that no big guy ever want to be seen land on the on the map. He just said, mm, okay, all right. So we had the match set. Me and Sonny know, I don't know, right before we got ready to go in, I ran up to Scott North. I said, Scott, remember now, first kick, you could slap it away. The second kick, you could just kind of sell it and rock back. But that third kick, you got to go to the ground. You got to go to the mat. And he get up and beat me in a way. I said, well, you got to go to the match. He said, all right. So we go through the match. What do you think happened? So he walked in. What do you think Scott Norton did? I chopped him in the neck. Guess what he did? Slapped my hand down, punched me in my face. I hit him. I went down. I was just fighting back. I tried to grab his hair. He slapped my hand down and hammered me down. Then he closed line. He took me in a big clothesline. I was just bumping all over the floor then he picked me up and suplexed me. Boom. Starting to know, pull me out. Now it's my time to fight back. I just asked for three kicks. I said, throw me to the corner. He threw me to the corner. I said, Scott, he caught the three kicks. The first kick I did at him, he just slapped it down. Boom, it hit me. The second kick, he did the same thing. He didn't do nothing I asked him to do. He slapped it down and punched me again. That third kick, it was the straightest kick I ever did. I damn near went through his chin to his forehead. And he went straight to his back. And blood was coming out of his mouth. It knocked all his front teeth out. It knocked all his front teeth out. And when he got up, he got up, suplexed me, got one, two, three. Then I went back through the um, tunnel, and those same people that stopped me the Monday before stopped me again. Scott Norris Man, that kick looked great, man. I never saw him take a bump like that before. Then, then Arn Anderson stopped and said, man, those kicks look good. Man, I never saw him. You made him look good. I never saw him take a bump like that before. So when we walked by, I looked at Sonny. I said, he'd have had no choice but to take a bump. Like that thing would have ripped his damn head off if he didn't go down. And he, <laughs> Nathan, you know, he come walking by there. His, his mouth was bleeding, his shirt was ripped off. He looked like he had just got beat up. But it's, the, the, the story is this right here. I showed them that day that you play around too much. I can't say what I want to say. You fuck around, and you'll fuck around and find out. And that's what Scott North found out that day. <laughs> and if he wanted to take it a little further in the locker room, I was ready for that too. Did he ever? I mean, did he sort of put his hands up and say, "I get it, I didn't register"? Yeah, the yeah, no. One. Again, I swear, I, 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 we never had a problem. We were friends forever. There, we're still friends. I messed with him a little bit, and this is so funny. The picture is online. Actually, I posted the picture with me kicking him on his chin. Some, no lie, at the perfect moment, the camera guy outside caught the picture of the kid. And I got a picture of it. I'll send it to you. Yeah. Picture with the kick right up on his chin, and he's going now. It looked like it just ripped his head off.